All right, it's cold. So I'm sitting by my nice little grizzly, uh, grizzly industrial space heater that looks like a real fire and it's fantastic. Really inexpensive and it really heats up the shop very nicely. I highly recommend them. Anyway, today we got a uh, first impressions. We've got ourselves another Ruger in front of us here. Um, there's been a lot of Ruger videos recently. Popular, popular company, they make good stuff. So, without further ado, five minutes starts now. So what we got here is a Ruger SP0, I mean, I'm sorry, SP101. It's a revolver. Uh, now being perfectly honest from the get-go, I'm not what you'd call a revolver guy. Um, I don't own one personally. This is for a customer coming in. Um, the main reason I don't own one is I have all 9mm pistols and I don't want to have to get another caliber. And uh, this is Meatloaf the cat coming and saying hello. Um, shop cat extraordinaire claiming the Ruger as his own as we speak. Um, so anyway, caliber, um, traditional revolver calibers, um, I don't have any of them. Um, there are some revolver, more revolvers coming out now that have modern pistol calibers such as 9mm or 40 Smith & Wesson. Um, but again, I the revolver doesn't fit my um, philosophy of use. Um, I've got my pistols for competition, self-defense, everything like that. I don't rule out ever getting a revolver, but um, it would definitely be a more modern one in something like 9mm that I already own for caliber consolidation, essentially. So, with our Ruger in here, pretty simple. We've got our lock, our documentation and the uh, revolver in front of us here, the uh, cylinder release on the side, open that up. We have a little block in there. We'll push it out with our case ejector. Woo, fun. So we got ourselves a five shot. This is the 357 Magnum version. Now one of the advantages of revolvers such as this is you essentially have three caliber choices. Um, 357 Magnum as stamped on the barrel um, but you can also use 38 Special in there. Um, let's see, 38 Special. I'm drawing a blank right now, but yeah. So you can use multiple calibers in most revolvers. Um, like the Taurus Judge or the Smith & Wesson Governor, you can use 410 shot shells, 45 long Colt, or the Moon Clips 45, <laughs> excuse me, 45 ACP. Um, the other fantastic thing about revolvers is their reliability. That's always the thing that's toted with revolvers above semi-automatic magazine-fed pistols is that the magazine feeding system is a point of failure, which is true. Um, however, modern designs almost eliminate that completely. Is a modern pistol like a Glock, m and um, the new SIG P320, that's the new military sidearm or army sidearm, is it going to have a failure? Yeah, eventually everything can fail. Revolvers can fail. Um, the timing can get out of whack, meaning the cylinder isn't rotating at the proper time for the hammer fall um, when you're shooting a double action. Um, so double action being I'm pulling a long trigger pull. So the timing could be off and it might not strike at the right time and not fire or damage the firearm and your hand. Um, so yes, revolvers can fail, um, but they're still really cool. They have, I guess I'll say, less points of failure that they could fail at. Um, the other really nice thing, Ruger, Smith & Wesson, pretty much synonymous names with revolvers. Colt, even though... Um, Colt invented the revolver according to the patents. Other people were developing them at the same time. Um, it really seems to me now Ruger and Smith and & Wesson are the go-to revolver companies uh, for those big bore guns, those crazy big bore Alaskans, the Ruger Alaskan and 454 Kasul and you know insane calibers and then the, obviously the Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum um, that they invented several years ago. Um, anyway, running short on time, I'm kind of rambling about revolvers, not this one in specific. Um, things I like about it, classic style, all revolvers typically have really nice lines. Um, pretty much anyone 
if you say revolver, they're going to picture this. Um, it might not necessarily be a Ruger, but it's going to be some a gun that looks almost exactly like this. It's just ever-present in everybody's mind. This is what a revolver looks like. Um, this particular model has the rubber grips with, um, I don't know if it's real wood or, yeah, it could be real wood actually, real wood inlay in there with the Ruger logo, a little bit of stippling in that wood there, and then the rubber grippiness. Um, feels very nice in the hand, points very naturally, very nice, fixed rear sights, um, and then a pinned front sight that you could swap out with a uh, fiber optic or another um, sight option you like better. Single fire, or not, I'm sorry, not single fire. Single action, pull that hammer back. Extremely crisp, light trigger pull. Double action trigger pull, like you'd expect. Long and uh, heavy, okay? Um, as a self-defense gun, this is, I feel like, the perfect size. Um, I would consider this a mid-size to full-size revolver in that full caliber 357 Magnum. That's what most modern revolver people are going to be carrying as um, self-defense uh, revolver. Um, someone carries something smaller in that uh, 38 Special. That's that snub nose Saturday Night Special little gun. Uh, but that's really personal preference. It's just like the difference between an M&P Shield and an M&P Full Size, essentially, or even an M&P Compact. Um, I think it's a great gun. Um, obviously, I haven't fired it. I have fired some revolvers. Um, it's like anything, it's going to be a little different than what you might be used to, especially if you're a modern magazine-fed pistol person. But there's just a cool factor to them. Like I said, I'll probably get a revolver eventually. I'm just kind of waiting for the right one. Um, Smith & Wesson just came out with one, announced a 2017 SHOT Show. That's a 9mm. That's essentially this size revolver, but a 9mm. So who knows? That might be a purchase down the line, but we'll see. Um, but, yeah. Beautiful lines, classic lines, reliability. Um, that Ruger quality, can't say anything bad about this, and the customer is really pumped to get this. So, um, as always, question, comments, concerns in the comments below, um, or email me directly um, with any other questions you might have. So, like, share, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.